Hi there. In this video, I'd like to talk a bit about another use of the Python keyword in. In a previous lesson, we saw how to write a for loop that goes one character at a time through a string. One thing that has been common to both types of for loops we've covered is the keyword in. A for loop always looks something like for something in something else. The something else can be a call to range or it can be a string. We can also use the word in in an if statement to determine if a particular letter is in a string. In this example, the if statement checks if a lowercase h is in the string s. Since h is in fact in the word hi, the condition of this if statement evaluates to true and the body of the if statement runs. You can also put a literal string to the left of the word in to test if it's in a string. The string to the left of in doesn't actually have to be just one character. It can be a multi-character string. Thus, the word in can be used to detect if one string is a substring of another string. In this case, hi is a substring of hi. A string is always a substring of itself. Here's another example where we can see that th is a substring of hi there. Let's put all this to the test by writing a program that asks the user for two strings. It's then going to determine whether or not the second string is in the first string. So I'm going to make a variable called big string. It's going to be equal to input, enter a string. And I'm going to make a variable called string to find. And I'm going to ask the user what to look for. And then I'm going to say if string to find is in big string, I'm going to say, yep, found it. Otherwise, didn't find it. Let's test this out. All right, let's try A, B, C, D, E, and let's look for A, B, C. Yep, found it. Note that this is case sensitive. So if I say A, B, C, D, E, and then do A, B, C in capital letters, we're not going to find it. Uh, hi there. I'm going to look for a space. Yep, found it. OK, let's add a comment. Ask the user for two strings. Determine whether or not the second string is in the first string. 